He says to you mean nothing, it's not going to help, is it? When you want to inspire to be great, and then they're just going to bring you down. So I've left school now, where do I go from here? My last exam was 1pm on Friday the 14th of June 2024. Straight after my last exam, I cut my hair, buzzed it, mohawk slash mullet. It looks alright in my opinion, I did it all myself, I should have recorded it, but next time I cut my hair I'll record it. Last day of school cut. Alright, so where do I go from here? Everyone leaves school at one point, and it looks like I have left school now. So, what I must say, if you're in year 10, year 9, it's a bit too late for in the start of year 11, but I would really, really recommend that you knuckle down at those last few years ready to absolutely smash your exams. Because when my teachers used to say, not even a few weeks time, your exams are coming up, and then they said, just try and get as much best grades as possible I used to not really care but towards the end of year 11 I decided what I'm going to do after I'm going to go to college and um, I'm going to learn vehicle mechanics so I needed to pass my maths and English so um, I had to do a catch-up game six weeks um, not even six weeks like five weeks before my exams I had to do a little bit of revision but I couldn't I didn't really know how to revise because I don't even know why I just couldn't um, just put my mind down to it. I was too busy focusing on the gym, trying to hit PRs, but um, I just watched revision videos before my exam, which was um, the night before. I just watched a revision video. Um, there's quite a few good science revision videos, and at the back of my mind, I remember stuff that the guy told me in my revision videos that I watched the night before, which was really good, really helpful. But I really can't stress this enough. Number one tip from me, from me when you're coming to the end of your school life would be start revising when you can. And also, teachers are there for a reason. So try and get as much information from them as you can. I have got a really long break ahead of me. Um, before I go to college. I've got a week of literally doing nothing um, this week, um, all the way up to September. So I need to sort of sort my life out. Um, whatever you need to do in your free time, do it. Don't waste time because your teenage years are the most important years of your life in my opinion. However you did as a teenager determines what you're gonna be like as an adult. I think I did pretty well in my GCSEs. I haven't got the results yet, but um, they're going to come in a few months time. We've got a results day. I can't be bothered to go to it. But maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But you can get your results online anyway. So I might as well do that. I think my priority with my um, GCSEs was just to pass maths and English. But <clears throat> I think I'll... I think... I don't want to jinx anything. I don't believe in that anyway. But I think I've definitely passed English. But the maths... It was a bit beyond me, but I definitely, the most important thing is if you've improved from your mocks. I definitely think I've improved from my mocks with any, every subject possible. My school didn't really want me to do study leave for some reason. They wanted us to be in school as long as possible to get ready for the exams. But um, me and my mates just left after our exams and we walked straight through um, the front door of the school and no one seemed to notice or batter an eyelid that we've left so we were just illegally leaving school but um yeah then our real legal way of leaving um because we have study leave then a few days before our exams ended and then it was just so natural for us and my other mate was looking at me like oh um we're finally leaving and we said yeah because we were leaving anyway september is when um I start college and start work um, full time. I'm gonna work with my dad, and um, he has a concrete company. So obviously, if you see my other videos, 
I'm there anyway during school sometimes. I skip a day of school to go and help him, but I'm going to be doing that full time. Concrete pumping, that's going to be my job. And um, I'm going to have a few days a week going to college learning vehicle mechanics. What I must say, as you get older and you're about to start work, do something that you love doing. Do something that um, that you like, because I was going to do computer programming just for the money and all that but i'm a hands-on person i'm into cars i'm into mechanics and um i just want to see how the cars work and obviously i'm going to be doing electric cars um combustion engines and all that and lorries as well so i can put that knowledge into lorries um and help my dad because my dad knows um a bit of mechanics as well and i can help him at the with the lorries as well because if i did um computer programming then it's not going to help my actual apprenticeship is it and if you do something you don't like you'll end up not doing it so chase the jobs that you like and if you don't like your job why would you stay there? Leave and find something that you like doing. Now in your teenage years, up to your 20s after you leave school, this is the time to grind. This is the time to make your life, when you're 80, um, make your life great sitting in a yacht where you don't have to work because you've been grinding in your teenage years up to your 20s. That's what I'm going to do. Um, work on businesses, etc. And every second counts. You need to remember that. Don't waste your time sleeping in bed your mind is a lot weaker than your body your body can cope with a lot but because your mind is playing tricks on you not to do the last rep in the gym is the same with everyday life you need to get up grind and work on what you like doing what i must say as well this is a really important tip number three is that you don't want to be wasting time in your life because this is what my dad said as well he didn't know where his life was going and um he was wasting some of his life in doing a certain job and then he um he eventually found that he wants to start a concrete company and if he started that concrete company when he was in his young prime 20s or after you've left school if he um, was working on that company then um then that company would have been absolutely massive like coca-cola now it's all well and good saying it, but one of my tips is you need to know what you want to do when you um, leave school. Some people still don't even know what they're going to do and they've already left in my year. I said, I asked them what job they want to do when they're older and they said, I haven't, I haven't got a clue. They just want to do well in their GCSEs. But your GCSEs mean nothing. I know teachers say, oh, it's going to open doors for you um, in the future. Fair enough if you want to be a doctor or something. But it's not going to open doors if you're just going to work at McDonald's. If you've got nines in your GCSEs and you work at McDonald's, it's not going to help, is it? So my tip is to know what you want to do um, before you leave school. So then you don't waste your life um, being, being around in a, in a road that goes like this. And then eventually is the job that you wanted to do. So if you get that, then yeah, that's one of my main top tips. The more you grind and the more you focus on what on yourself, then other people that you thought were your friends, you don't fall out with them, but you, they sort of drift away from you. So don't be sad that your um, day one friends you don't speak to anymore, because if anything, you need to get friends that are on your level. So you can't hang around with your friends that you used to go down drinking with when you want to aspire to be great and then they're just going to bring you down so find friends that are on the same level as you that you can bring up and they can bring you up as well and um now i left i entered school with barely any mates um during school i had as much mates as i wanted but then you only need three real mates that are um that are willing to take a bullet for you. Some of them I don't speak to now, um, almost all of them, but it's because I want to be great and I don't want them to lead me down. When I go to college, I will obviously find uh, new mates as your life goes on. So don't be disheartened that you've got no one to support you, um, apart from your family. You'll eventually find some friends along the way, along your journey.
not every day you have to grind, which is what you need to remember. Because you're still a kid at the end of the day, and you need to have fun, you need to go out with your mates. But it's good to try and push through your work that you have to do, and forget about if you're tired and just do it. But sometimes you can't do that and you need a rest day. Same in the gym as well. You, if you work, If you work out every single day, then you're obviously going to overtrain, which is the same with your mind. You need to sort of have a holiday, relax a bit. So all this I've sort of learnt from the gym. It interacts with your everyday life, if you know what I mean. I've started playing the guitar again, if you can see it here in the corner. And um, I used to play it as a kid, so I've decided to learn Metallica. I've been practising Metallica, Master of the Puppets. In my caravan at the moment. Um, because I live with a family of seven and it's you you can't record anywhere because they're busy shouting their mouth off when you're trying to record something and you can't concentrate. That's why I come in here somewhere quiet. Plugging in my amp. Watch one. That's what I mean. But um plugged in my amp just power it on this isn't a very good amp i need to get another one but why would i get another one when i need to progress at the guitar first i can't play the whole song but this is what i've learned at the moment so you want to work on your hobbies work on what you're good at i could eventually become a rock star before i know but but yeah enough talking this is what i can play come on you man Good luck after you've left school and good luck in the future and um, I hope you do well with yourself. Bye.